number one. Big lie number two actually frustrates me more, and it probably does Christian and Barry. And for those who follow this, and I don't want to get too deep into the politics of this, but you ought to be mad when people behave this way. When we introduced this legislation, the public schools, traditional public schools came to us and they said, we're totally opposed to it because you're going to use local money. Isn't that what they said? And what they said was, if you will just not use local money, then we're fine with it. So what did we say? Well, it's going to be real tough on the charter kids, but all right. We'll take the local money out of it, even though I think that's fundamentally wrong. I think if I'm paying property taxes to my county, money ought to follow to, get my, to, to the school of their choice. But we said, okay, we'll take the local money out of it. Now, after doing that, they're coming back and saying, well, but you're going to give them a little more state money than the regular kids. Now, think about that logically. These are the same people that come to us and tell us that $9,000 is not sufficient enough money. Then they say, we don't want you to use the local money for those kids, and we agree with them. And then they say, well, now you're going to give them more state money. So the $9,000 is not enough, but the $5,500 is too much for the charter kids? Follow that logic there. But what are they saying about those kids? Honestly, I mean, it really boils down to that. What are they saying about those kids? If you come to our system, you should get $9,000 and a whole lot more. But if you go to that system over there, you shouldn't even be allowed to have $5,500. I just don't want to live in a state where I have government bureaucrats look, picking and choosing my kids and saying, this one's good enough to give $9,000 to, this one, just forget about it. We, we, we don't even want them to have $5,500. The level of hatred that must go into that, it, it, it's really sad that people behave in this way. I mean, they're all of our kids. These kids are Georgia kids. We want them to get a good education. Why would we sit around and pick and choose and say, this one is worthy because they decided to stay in our system, but this one is not worthy because they dared to leave the system? It's really, if you think about the core of their argument, it's pretty sick that they would want to pick and choose and punish children simply because the parents want to make a better choice for that child's education. So 